All right, my friends, let's build this together. No, no, no. All right, my friend, let us build this together. No, no, no. All right, my friends, let us build this together. Is that good? Yeah. All right. Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. This is a uh, medicine cabinet I recently purchased at uh, Home Depot. We are in the uh, restroom, the best room in the house. Well, I believe I should install it right here next to this uh, entrance door or on the left side of this giant mirror. All right, all right. Now let's go ahead and review the uh, medicine cabinet and see what it comes with and what it doesn't come with. Well, when I, uh, when I open it up, you can see it uh, It virtually comes with nothing, nothing special. We got the, uh, the instruction manual and we got the two uh, shelves, okay, and then the mounting bracket for the shelves. But it comes with no hardware, no nails to hook it on the wall or to hook it to the wall. This is incredible. These are all the equipments that they should have uh, provided. You see, they should have provided because they said tools required, but they did not provide me with these tools. Now I gotta purchase them. All right, these are the tools that uh, this thing should have, came, should have come with, but I ended up buying them three years ago. This is uh, to drill the uh, the holes. All right. This is to uh, hold the uh, the cabinet and the uh, on the wall, and these will go in the uh, the uh, the sheetrock, and these are the nails that will support the the cabinet. So I will use these for the uh, for the top part, and then those the the lower the lower part. Of the uh, of the cabinet, so I don't have four of these. I only have two, and so you see they are very long. They go in, uh, they go in like this, and then they spread out. So there's no way. Uh, even if they come loose, then it will not uh, come out because of this uh, angle here. Uh, okay, and it's very very long. And this is uh, this one here. That's something I've already procured. So uh, the the cabinet it doesn't come with uh, the handle, so I figure uh, I can install this uh, to open it. And this is a lever to make sure that uh, I drill the holes on the cabinet to uh, hang it on the wall uh, straight, and they are straight. And this is the uh, electric. Uh, uh, is that a wrench? What, the, what is this? Yeah, so it is. Uh, I have a brain fart right now. It's uh, yeah, whatever it is, and it will help me uh, drill it faster. So I have it and I use it, okay, but it's not necessary. This is what it is it's a dongle uh, drill driver kit. It's a drill driver, all right. So I have the uh, the drill bit. And I will uh, drill the hole right here, a little bit underneath the uh, the actual uh, uh, magnetic uh, lock. All right, so I have the first hole for the uh, okay for the door. All right, so since this thing didn't come with the holes uh, pre-drilled, I have to do it. And uh, I will, I'm using this, uh, this lever here 
to uh, to drill the the holes. So with the lever, it was to make sure that it's, it's straight. So I will uh, I will uh, draw a, a straight line and then put a whole um, little dot here for the hole and then one dot over here and then uh, and I and then come down here and repeat the 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 uh, the, the process. And uh, be, uh, one thing to uh, mention to you guys, so th this is the uh, mounting bracket to the wall, and so there you see they reinforce it with an additional piece of uh, cardboard. And this is just the, the back cover, and then they put this here, okay? But they should have, should have drilled the hole, and also pro provide uh, the screws. But guess what? I got screwed. Right, so now I drill all four holes, and uh, they might be a little bit too uh, too small for the screws. So I I, I will go, just go over with a, with a uh, bigger uh, drill bit. I widen the the holes with a uh, wider uh, drill bit, and this is the interior. And, and what will happen is uh, this will be uh, covered with the uh, with this uh, washer because I, I will install a washer so to help secure it uh, on the wall. All right, this is a trick I I just thought about and I develop it. So if you're working by yourself, and here's what I I come up with. You see those four nails. It doesn't matter uh, if one nail is is uh, straight or long or crooked. Or you just need two nails to uh, to be uh, to be straight, and that's how it's leveled up. So, what I will do, I have this uh, nail because in case uh, my little man is not um, available, I will just uh, from the inside and just uh, go ahead and puncture this all the way in the uh, in the sheet rock to hold it and after it holds it and then uh, I will put uh, this here on yeah on top here to level it up or straight and then we'll put the uh, the second nail uh, okay so that means the top and once you put those two nails they are very long and this thing will be uh, straight down on the wall and then Well, uh, with some additional help, I was able to uh, put the uh, cabinet up and uh, use the pre-drill holes to uh, mark the uh, location of the holes on the uh, on the yeah on the wall. So
so now I'm going to uh, try, attempt to do this just to show you it can be done by one person but two are better. All right, so I will do, that's the same process. I will do down here as well. Look at the lever, it is uh, at 98% straight. Uh, but to the uh, naked eye, it is 110% uh, straight. That's how it is. I thought it was supposed to go in the groove, but the groove is actually too, uh, too small. Yeah, too small, so they go, uh, yeah, they, they, go, they go on top. Okay, so this is it. And it is. Where's my head to here? Oh. 